Well, when you look at, at pollution and you look at what pollutes the air, the first thing you have to ask yourself is, what is a pollutant? You have to define what is a pollutant. And there are lots of definitions for what a pollutant is, but uh, kind of one that's, that's generally accepted is a pollutant is anything that causes harm to plants or animals, causes harm to materials, or will change climate. So anything that fits into that definition would be considered a pollutant. Now, what do we have? Well, there's lots of things that fall into that category. And the, the things that fall in there are both man-made and natural compounds. It, it, everybody tends to think that pollutants are, are strictly anthropogenic, are strictly man-made, but that's not true. There are things that that are emitted into the atmosphere by natural processes, by volcanic activity, and so on, that would be considered a pollutant. Something like the eruption of a volcano with, with big emittance of sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide and a variety of acids that are thrown up, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and so on into the atmosphere by a totally natural process would be considered a atmospheric pollutant. So, it's, it's a combination. When you look at pollution in the atmosphere, what is it? Well, it's, it's obviously things that we make and we put out through smokestacks and with industry and so on. But it's also a wide variety of natural processes that, that cause what we would consider pollution. I mean, before there were people around, was there acid rain? Yes, there was. All right, so we, we had that type of pollution as a natural process. So you, you really have to, to kind of look at a wide spectrum of components as far as what would be considered, you know, a pollutant.